how long have you been rapping? And do you feel like um, it sort of comes with like a practice? You can't just jump into it and say, I'm a rapper. Do you feel like you have to have that sort of like talent and like from your young? Um, well, I mean, there's, I think I feel like there's a couple aspects to that, right? Mm-hmm. I've been rapping personally since like grade six. Mm-hmm. So that would mean since like 2000 and. Uh, 2006 <laughs> yeah I forgot 2006 yeah. so like for um, for over 10 years now for a while now mm-hmm. and I, I can't even lie up until like 2010 I was not good mm-hmm. like at all and then I remember the, the, the reason why I even like started to branch out to the gangster stuff is because some guy at Newman he, he made a diss track and dissed me my friend was <laughs> like yo diss him diss him and I dropped something and if you look at my if you go on YouTube right now and search fuck Jew you'll definitely come up it's called fuck Jew <laughs> and uh <laughs> And it was it was fire. I thought it was fire. Yeah. Everyone thought it was fire. And I started to, to get into that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And when I got into that kind of stuff, I started to develop my uh, my sort of uh, my style and things like that. Even uh, my, my one of my one of the people in my group, I Ricky, mm-hmm. um, who I just the, the track that I yeah, just recorded. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the track that I just recorded is with him. Oh, and okay, he yeah. he it's a banger. He rips that track. Like his verses, his two verses are way better than my verse. I'll give you uh-huh. that right now. Um, even with him, I wanted them to get into the rap. I'm, I'm telling this guy to start rapping since what grade eleven, grade ten, mm-hmm. like on him because we both listen to rap we both have a have an ear for it and we understand what's yeah. good and what's not like in terms of actual ability yeah. so i thought if he really wanted to get into it what's in practice he'd be good mm-hmm. and he is so i feel like if you really get into hip-hop and actually work at it you can be good mm-hmm. now the second aspect to that is what is good because a lot of people have a different idea on that for me you need lyrical ability that's you, yeah yeah, yeah. but a lot of people i mean if your track sounds fire then it's fire you know so, some right. people just go with like, oh, it's kind of catchy. Yeah. It has that like, sort of you know, did you hear like, 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 exact for example, Lavar? Was it? Was it? Was it? Lavar Ball, Lonzo Ball, whichever, Lonzo whichever Ball, one. Yeah. yeah. He rapping. said, who said, uh, Migos is better than Nas or Future yeah, better than Nas I, or whatever. I wouldn't go there, honestly, because <sighs> Migos. When I, I'm not an expert on this, but when it's the Migos, it's sort of like, hey, like it's it's yeah, it's fire, track, but it's like bumper, yeah, banger, you know? Nas, it's like he's smart. He's has lyrics. There it's, is the difference. Yeah, and I, I'm not gonna hate on Migos. I love Migos. They they have they have bangers. Yeah, and if you listen to Offset, Offset kind of has bars. Quavo has a little bit of bars in there. Yeah, but um, it's not the same as like Illmatic Three, the most lyrical album of all time. One thing I always say is about like certain rappers, like if you listen to like. Don't get me wrong, they're nice. If you listen to like Migos and Little Pump, I think uh, there's a lot of rappers because people are like, yo, like I can do this. I've never heard you know of Little Pump song in my life. So, <laughs> people, but that's why, like people like Chippy Red and all these new rappers, people yeah. actually feel like, um, oh, like it isn't like I yeah. can do this. But well, when you listen to when you listen to like Nas and like Kanye, when I listen to them, I'm like, yo, there's no way I could fucking yeah do that. Like that's crazy. See, when I listen to them, that? I want to get there. When I listen to them, yeah. I'm like, yo, I need to, I need to do this. Like yeah. I need to be Nas. I need to be Kanye. Yeah. Now, if you want to th- really talk about these artists. Um, that's, that's what I call them, artists. If you mm-hmm. think of one of them as rappers, they're mediocre, in mm-hmm. my opinion. If you think of one of them as artists, mm-hmm. amazing. Trippy Red has a song called Ro- Romeo and Juliet. Is it, is it called Romeo and Juliet? I think it's called Romeo and Juliet. Amazing. It's mm-hmm. a banger. Mm-hmm. If you think about it as a rap song, it's not even, it's, it's not possible. It's not a thing. If you think about it as like an act. I haven't heard that one. Romeo no, listen to it. Trust me, it's a banger. If you listen to it, if you think about it as, as just music, as, like, as, as, as an artist, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And take rap away from it. Then he's a, then he's 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 a sick artist. Mm. And I think of, I think about for a lot of these artists like Migos, obviously rappers, like whatever. But like you listen to Future, Future you could you can't even really call Future a rapper most of the time. You know what I mean? What happened? To, I'm not gonna say what happened because he just dropped the what was it a uh, super slime? Or something, yeah, yeah, something something like that. But like before, like yo, he was everybody's talking about Future. <laughs> everybody, I don't hear about him. Like that, well, that's because there's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more people because remember when Future dropped, he was he was the only one, like one of the only people really doing that kind of sound. Mm-hmm. Now there's a lot more people doing that kind of sound, so he's not so like novelty. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, Future was the was the best in the game for a while, right? Yeah, quote unquote. That's true. I hear you. All right. So as I'm gonna go back to you and um Iriki because um, I'm gonna say like you know when we were sh- going like driving around to do like the video mm-hmm. shoot for they don't uh, they um. Uh, and any like tracks would come on, tracks would be playing like the way you guys would like analyze it and break it down. I'm like, yeah. I will sit back and listen. I'm like, yo, these guys like they know what they're doing. Like these, their way. I can't. That's like yeah. sometimes I couldn't even go in and talk rap with you guys. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like that's the one thing I'm gonna say. Like you guys, you have a mind for that. That's, you guys go in, you guys catch a punch. you're like, oh, that's sick. I know where you came up with that. Yeah. I see what he's talking about there. What he, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's sort of sick. I'm gonna give you guys that. I, but, Back to like when I was ask when I was asking you the other question about my like friends going being rappers now. Mm. It's like I didn't see that in them. Like when I have conversations with them, like certain shit they would say, I'd be like, 
what? Or like, you know, when certain people be in English class and they couldn't read? Yeah. It's like, now they're rappers. I'm like, what? That's so crazy. Like, uh, but see, yeah. if if you can if you can formulate the thoughts in your like you, you can be slow as you want on paper, yeah. right? But if you can formulate your thoughts in your head and put it on paper and put put it down in your way, yeah. like, even if you can't write it down per se, if you can formulate it in your head and get it get it down so you can read it and get it down so you can get it out, yeah. and you can make it yours. That's that's the thing about rap is making making your track sound like you. Mm-hmm. First of all, you know what I mean. Getting your own distinct sound, and um, and beyond that is uh, getting your. Um, your your style like beyond your sound is your style like your flow your the way you put your lyrics together if you listen to any artist any 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 good reputable artist they have their own specific like flow pattern their own rhyme pattern like Jadakiss never <laughs> Jadakiss does not switch his flow does not yeah. switch his, his his rhyme scheme nothing and he's like what do you think he's one of the best artists out here you see what I mean? Yeah. Like, Rizzo is important, but like certain artists have that. Like even Styles P, Styles P don't really switch up his flow either. Like you know, he's kind of the same. I don't know. It's all about how you package yourself at the end of the day, right? Yeah. How do you feel about Eminem and the whole uh, <laughs> cipher Donald Trump thing? I thought that was a joke. Up. Yeah. Joke. Um, Eminem's one of my. I, I put him in my top ten all time. I give him that, right? But um, my problem with the cipher is one. If he was just talking about Donald Trump, whatever. But he wants to he wants to get all in the, in, in in the black people issues, throwing up the black power <laughs> fist and shit. Like, yeah, nah, dude, bro, get out of here, bro. <laughs> Secondly, um, if you wasn't dropping an album in less than two weeks and literally a song like two days later, then mm-hmm. I would say maybe you was really in it to do that. But no, no, because literally after the cipher, he dropped a song and, and everybody was toting that song, putting that song up on their blogs and shit, talking mm-hmm. about oh, um, Eminem's the goat, this and that. Like it was clearly a publicity stunt. He's invited to the cookout. And yeah, all that. <laughs> That is the that, that narrative upsets me, bro. Yeah, y'all some real y'all some real like. I've never I never said that. I don't, I don't like he's, he's invited to the cookout, but it's like I don't. I oh, don't he get got that. he got the nigga card. He got the black card. Bro. Yeah, bro. I'm I'll, I'll say this I'll say this and I'll probably catch a lot of heat for it, but I'm a separatist. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a separatist, hundred percent. I'm I, I believe Pan Africanism is the only way. Um, now that's not to say like. I'm not gonna say completely like you. You, you got to do with white people, right? You gotta have white friends. You gotta yeah. have all these. You gotta have all these things. But at the end of the day, um, my daughter is never ever gonna marry a white man or a woman. <laughs> I'll give you that right now. Um, my I, when I own my black owned business, I will hire all black people. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I I I am all for taking. Like, if you look at any other community, the Jewish community, the black, the, sorry, not, not the black community, um, the, the Asian community. If you look, if you go go down to to, to North York right now. The stores have Chinese have Mandarin writing on them, yeah. like even there's there's, there's Chinese owned banks. There's if you go down to, to to my hood right now, you know what you see, mm-hmm. Michelle Lee's that's owned by Koreans or whatever the hell. You and see uh, convenience store the own. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have we don't really we don't really there's ninety seven percent of businesses are not black owned. Yeah, <laughs> like, and that's that's because we have this mentality of. Um, Inclusiveness. We're the only we're the only we're the only community that does not practice a certain form of racism. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? We're the only community that says, "Oh yeah, marry who you want." Oh yeah, you know, um, uh, come into our neighborhood, put up your stories. You know what I mean? Every other community has a certain amount of borders around them, and that's what they can build. Yep. And even like when I went to Jamaica, this is going on a long time now. Chinese the owned Chinese, Jamaica. They're taking over. They own Jamaica. Yeah. They're taking over. It's yeah. crazy. And I think it has something to do. With I'm not too into the politics. I don't know, but I think it has something to do with the government because mm-hmm. they're allowing them to come in and then they're bringing their Chinese to work. They're not giving a job to the Jamaican people. So I'm like, uh, if you know, a lot of the time, there's a white man in power in Jamaica. If you notice that, yeah. Um, also, the U.S. has a lot of influence in Jamaica, so there's that too. Mm. Um, one of the political parties. I remember last. I don't. I don't really know a lot about Jamaican politics either. But I mm. my brothers, my brothers, like actually from there. I remember there was a time when um, there was a whole lot of rallying going on to to, to stop a, sp- a specific political party from coming into power because mm-hmm. they were completely U.S. back. You know what I mean? mean like or something along those lines like Jamaican politics are there's a reason why Jamaica's and a lot of these places Haiti and Af- a lot of African countries are still third world countries mm. and it's not because they don't have the resources it's not because they don't have the, the know-how because a lot of their a lot of the, their, their school system is a lot more advanced than ours Shit yeah. that we learn sorry, stuff that we learn in like grade eight grade nine they're learning in like grade four grade three like my brother came down here looking at us, uh, looking at our books like what are you, are you guys stupid are you slow <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's because it's because of outside influence, right? Mm-hmm. Which is another reason why I say I'm a separatist because um, when you if, if you really look at history, and I like to learn from history mm-hmm. because that's 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 what they do and that's where they win. Um, if you invite when you invite the enemy into your barracks, then you invite you know you invite you invite collapse from the inside. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Muhammad Ali had a, a beautiful reference: if 
uh, 10,000 rattlesnake snakes were coming through that door right now, right? Yeah. And only 1,000, and I, I didn't know 1,000 of them did not want to hurt me. 1,000 of them were, were, wanted to be my friend. Mm-hmm. Am I supposed to open that door and let the other 9,000 through too because I'm not sure which ones are which? Yeah, or should I, I just you. shut the door <laughs> on all 10,000 of them and keep my ass safe, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's that's, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Damn. And even, like, I don't know, someone, someone was telling me um the natural disasters that are um, like hitting Haiti and stuff, but talking about they're man-made so that they can buy the resources from the states and stuff. I'm like, that's crazy how like the <laughs> level they would go to keep, yeah. I don't know if this is true, yeah. but the level that, it sounds like something that would be true, though, the, yeah. the level that they'll go to keep black people down. like. <laughs> now, I don't want to sound crazy, but um, <laughs> when, you, when we talk about sc- yeah. conspiracy theories, it sounds crazy, yeah. but um, HARP, H-A-R-P, has definitely has technology that can that, that can create weather, mm-hmm. um, and creating weather is not as hard as you think it is. <laughs> it's cloud seeding. Though there's two ways to do it. You can either um, see the see the atmosphere with um, particles that reflect sunlight, yeah, right, or particles that that increase sunlight. That's that's one of the ways. Now, if you're increasing, the, if, if you're if you're if you're if you're um, spraying the, the 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 atmosphere with chemicals that um, that direct the sunlight down, mm. you're, you're literally scorching the earth. You're, you're, you're stopping rainfall to drought. If you're uh, reflecting sunlight, you're either A, um, causing snow or hail, or B, causing rain, right? Now, there's, another, there's other ways, too, where you can um, flood the atmosphere with moisture, right? Yeah. You can, there, there's a lot of different, like, seeding, seeding um, sorry, creating weather, is, it sounds like some crazy sci-fi thing, yeah. but it's, it's, it's just science. <laughs> it's just uh, physics and, um, you know, the right chemicals or, or the right process. Um, I watched a video of this, this, this NASA launch. Like, the, this guy was, was, was by a launch. They, 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 they launched a rocket into space, and the, the exhaust from the rocket created clouds. Mm-hmm. Those clouds traveled a couple miles down, and then started to rain. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. So, so I don't know. This just sounds crazy to me because even though you're saying like it's not as hard, it's just it sounds insane. Yeah. Talk about this yeah. It's like what? Why like, would they? Like, yeah, that's exactly that's true. They they wouldn't let us know about no. all that. But, see, that's the funniest thing is they all these conspiracy. They, they put these things in shows. They these conspiracy theories. They they let the crazy guy in the show say it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, to, to 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 make you seem like oh well, if, if he's saying it, then anybody out here is saying it's crazy too. Exactly. Like you're talking about the Rothschilds, um, Federal Reserve, um, fractional reserve banking, mm-hmm. makes you sound crazy if you talk about it, because they made it sound crazy when you talk about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I hear you. See, when you talk, you're an intelligent guy. I tell you, you're an intelligent guy. You have, I can tell, like you probably like read up a lot oh, on yeah. this stuff. Yeah, like, I love research. It seems yeah. like um, nobody would read up on that. Nobody would, <laughs> nobody would see that. So I'm not reading that. But like, it's information. It's valuable. Mm-hmm. It's like, what what's your like writing process like? How do you like if you have maybe if you see something that's like you know what, I'm gonna get do you have like a pen and pen so you know what, I'm gonna write this down write some I literally myself. literally always have a notebook and pen with me like at all yeah. times or my and my phone my my note I, write, I usually write my lyrics on my phone but mm-hmm. um, I keep a pen and paper with, on me so that I can write like if I water comes to my head I write it down the, my process with my tracks is more or less like. Um, it, it depends, because if, I, if, I, if I'm listening to, say, A Boogie, right, mm. and I'm listening to some A Boogie tracks and I'm feeling the inspiration, then I'll go find a beat that sounds along those lines mm. and um, put the inspiration down. A lot of times I'll hear a bar, and the bar will inspire me to write another bar to start a, to, to start a track, and then I'll, and once I start the track, it just starts coming. Mm. So, like, it, it depends on, on what kind of track and how I got into writing that track. And, like, even on the way here, I was writing a track about my about my pops who passed and things like that. And I was just, I listened to the beat, and the beat kind of just had me feeling like this is the way to go with it. Mm-hmm. A lot of time, the beat talks to me. The beat tells me what to write on the track, you know. If I hear the beat and it says, um, like, if, and, and I start, like, freestyling a little bit, and I start to go towards something more conscious or something about women or something about, you know, it, yeah. it, 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 it's it's about how I feel when I'm, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm listening to it, I guess. Okay. Now, we're both Jamaican, but I'm going to ask you this because this is my favorite genre. Yeah. Who's your favorite reggae artist? Right now? Of all. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, overall, okay, okay, okay. Um, well, right now, I'd have to say Chronix. One of your favorites. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'd have to say Chronix. Chronix is my favorite right now, making music yeah. right now. Um, but I also like Protégé and I Octane. Like, they're, they're sick, too. Alkaline. But um, <laughs> if we're talking about, like, all time, yeah. shit, that's hard. Um, <laughs> I couldn't even answer that. Yeah, yeah. I, there's, a, there's a couple. Yeah. Um, Bears Hammond, obviously, is mm-hmm. one of my favorites. If you're talking about old school, old school like that, like reggae, it's one of my mm-hmm. favorites. Bob Marley, obviously. Anybody you ask, if you ask anybody, yeah, they're going to say Bob sure. Marley. Um, I mean, I like. I used to like a lot of like different stuff too, like Macadamia. I used to love Macadamia. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> 
Sister Nancy. She's I love nice. Sister Nancy yeah. too. Like you know, it's, it's, it's my, my 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 musical taste is broad. I know, so I can hear what you're listening to sometimes, like and like some reggae plays, and like you're into that also. Would you ever dip into that into that genre, or did um, you? I if 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 I, I definitely would. I would love to do a a, a, a collab pro, with, with, with Chronics. That's yeah. my that's my one of my all time goals. So talented, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of my all time goals to do a pro, uh, do a, a collab with Chronics. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do. I I would love to get back. I I love I love to to, to to mix into that genre a little bit. Like if you look at hip hop, hip hop is a steady influence with dancehall. Mm-hmm. You know they 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 they've been intertwining for years. Biggie used to go to Jamaica every year mm-hmm. and and go chill on there, listen to the music and, and be influenced by the music. Uh, Snoop Dogg went through his whole Snoop Lion phase. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, what happened to that? <laughs> what? Well, he's anti Snoop now, so you know. <laughs> Hit Martha uh, in the kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, even Drake, Drake, Drake and Movado had a whole thing. Movado was yeah. even signed to We the Best. Like yeah. dance all and hip hop have a connection. Mm-hmm. You know. But like in Toronto, because obviously like that's so intertwined. Like mm. Toronto, pa- the path to Jamaica. Yeah. Is there like a Toronto rapper who's like gone into like like dance hall like and reggae? Like, I'm not talking about just like put on the path for like yeah, a person. Yeah. I'm talking about Snow? actually like got on a rhythm and like Snow. Snow. He's white Other guy. Than, he's so a white I'm guy. Talk, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about like he's big. I'm not talking oh. about like sort of like underground or some. You know, and like he's not really there yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm still looking for that. That's one thing I would. Like. Oh, actually, I. You know, it's funny. I don't remember what these guys' names are. I'm yeah. so mad I didn't get their business card. But I went to a show. Mm. Uh, sorry, I, went, I, I did a show. We, me and my, uh, me and me and, me and um, I, Ricky. Yeah. We did a show, and uh, there was these two, this group there, and I swear they're from Toronto. I, like they, 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 they talk. They sound like they're from, they're from Toronto, but. When they go up and they perform, they're doing dancehall in Pierre mm-hmm. Patois, and it sounds good too. Yeah. And they, and I know they have a couple. There's, there's another artist that went up there and did the same thing, and I swear they're both from Toronto, like mm-hmm. born and raised. So, I don't know. And even even um, Tory Lanez does a decent amount of his tracks mm-hmm. in Patois. And he shouldn't, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm trying to look for. Though. I'm not talking about someone who's like in this like Tory Lanez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it hasn't been done. I just yeah, say I'm yeah. still I'm looking for it because I'm still like I said like I'm still. Trying to put myself onto Toronto rap scene, mm-hmm. music scene, and all that stuff. But, all right, so we're about to wrap it up. So one thing I want to I want to ask is like, what's your take on the whole um the whole scene in general? Do you feel like something's missing or something has to improve? You talking about hip hop? Yeah. Um, I feel like uh there there there's not enough um actual help to break artists out. Mm-hmm. Like I I a lot of the time when when artists break, because they sign a deal. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And that's to me, that's that's hell. That's ruining your career right there. Mm-hmm. You sign a deal, you have to put money in your pocket, but you can't say what you want to say now. You can't do what you want to do, right? Um, a bit, in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like artists need a little more. Um, like even 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 in terms of development, they need they need a more more backing. That's what I want to do when I get on. Is uh, cause I, I definitely plan on getting on when I, when I get on. Sure, I'm gonna come to Toronto. Should, yeah. yeah, when I come to, th- I'm gonna, I wanna come to Toronto and build like a, a system for 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 young rappers, mm-hmm. you know, and not just young rappers, young artists, mm-hmm. and obviously again, strictly like black owned black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off for that. Um, <laughs> I, I, I wanna have a system where they can come in. I, I this is this one of the plans I had was building a studio. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna give the whole idea away. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, just a way for artists to come through and to um. You know, display their talents and to uh, um, you know have me the chance to me to have a chance to hear them and to see what's really happening, you know, mm-hmm. and to give them pointers and not pointers on their music per se. Like you know, what you make is what you make. Yeah. I mean, pointers on like what to do with it after you make it. Mm-hmm. You know, um, how to get it seen without actually signing a deal. The ways to, to to contact distributors, things like that. Like ways to to, to build a following independently. Mm-hmm. And that's that's there's not enough for that. Um, to, to 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 be a rapper these days, it's like you have to sign a deal. That's why everyone's thinking like I'm working until I get my first deal. Like, that's all I want. And for me and a lot of people I know, like me and my artists in my group, we're not working for a deal. Yeah. We're working to build something. We're working to build a label where we can sign artists. You know yeah. what I mean? What's your group? Your group name? Your uh, group? Honor Roll. Honor Roll. Okay, yeah. that's a group name. Okay. All right. So you know what? Let's me just wrap it up because we've been going on for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, but let the people know like um. I don't know. Let them know um, the social media, the random of the projects you've been working okay, on. Okay, okay. If you want to follow me, follow me on my Instagram at 6IXIXIX. You can follow me on my uh, my Facebook page at Honor Roll MGMT. Um, you can follow my other Instagram, the Black Power Unit. And uh, like I said, my my, 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 my YouTube is, um, is uh, Honor Roll. You, you can find all my music there, all my... Um, all my new projects and like I said I have a, a couple new projects coming out the um, revelation the, the the transition of a G mm-hmm. which is I'm not sure we don't, I don't really have dates yet because I'm still working on the yeah, project yeah. and all that but transition of a G and revelations chapter 6 verse 66 look out for those alright there you have it you heard it 
Influence, thank you for coming by and chatting with me. I really appreciate that. No problem, brother. It's been a good talk. All right, we're going to end it there. Thank you for all the people listening and, you know, keep up with Influence and his music. Definitely support Toronto Rap. All right? Done. They don't want to see us go, eh? They don't want to see us go, uh? They don't want to see us...